What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Hot Take Headquarters. I'm V. This is Doc. Um, welcome. Welcome. You know, as you can tell, this is different from our usual setup. Um, yeah, we're here at In Motion Motorsports in uh, Seekonk, Massachusetts. And uh, as you can see, we got a couple Porsches lined up to look at and review, including that Racing Yellow 991 S. And a classic for you to check out, too. I know you're a big fan of classic Porsches. No, yeah, that's true. We got the 1989 Porsche 964 Carrera yeah. RS. White with black leather. And then, yeah, racing yellow, black leather. Yep. I mean, what do you think of that? You're going to see this wing on this thing? Oh, I can't wait to see it. Like, it's going to be spicy. <laughs> it's going so, to be a good time. 20-inch wheels. Whew. 20-inch wheels. Yeah, the wheels. Anyway, we're going to have a good time. We're going to go in there. We're going to talk to the owner. We're going to peek inside the cars and talk about them. And we're going to decide... Classic or modern 911. It's a good problem to have. Exactly. Which one would you buy? Yeah, exactly. My stomach's growling. <clears throat> it's pretty exciting to see these cars, though, bro. I want to hear what you think about this 964. Yeah, so right off the back, I love, like, the front headlights. I like how they go straight right back into, like, the main body of the car. And I love oh, the man. color, too. The Grand Prix right is just amazing. I know what you mean, yeah, how the headlight kind of carries right through to the bottom of the, the window, uh, the windscreen there. Mm -hmm. It's a very classic look. Um, and then uh, I like from the rear, I like how like, it has like, the classic, like the wider stance in the back and the, uh, damn, but this <laughs> interior, look at, see all this, all, this all analog gauge cluster, the tachometer, odometer, speedometer, all that is just, I just love how simple and minimal like that interior was, all black. Like, yeah, you got your five uh, dials, it's just temperatures and everything mm -hmm. you need. I mean, it has other indicators and things, but yeah, the tack right center, mm -hmm. 85,000 miles. So remember for my birthday. See, and there's no Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So like, there's no distractions. All you listen to is just five speeds forward. Exactly. That's it. But I love that steering wheel. You can throw a cassette tape in there though, if you want. <laughs> Hey, those wheels look familiar, right? Don't you got those in your basement? I am collecting those wheels, I guess, forever. Mm -hmm. Although they are for sale. They are. Yeah, yeah, those are called Cup 1s. Those Cup 1s are very nice. Yeah, they're nice. Look at the front of that car. Just beautiful. Wow. Let's take it in. Um, and I also like... What else I like about this car? I like sort of like from the rear. I like the tail lights. Mm. Um, I like how it said it is spelled out Porsche in the tail lights. It's very oh yeah, and that uh, light bar. Mm -hmm. in the, yeah, that's I, know, I love that. Very classic. I I shop for those on eBay all the time. Those lights. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's very expensive. <sighs> yeah, I love that detail. My nine two four had that, but it was similar. You know, with black. Uh, said Porsche in the black font, that Porsche font that I showed you. Oh, I also liked how this one had like the rear wiper. Oh yeah, the rear wiper option. I never saw that. I've never seen that on 911 before, so I thought that was pretty cool. I know, look, there it is. I know. It's pretty cool. I mean, that is actually a pretty cool rear uh, feature. This has a sunroof as well. Yep. And I love the Grand Prix white. I think, you know, that that Porsche taillight is probably one of probably my favorite detail. I was touching it in one of the pictures. And this is a RS, you know, a Rensport clone, a tribute. So it's not a, you know, two or three, four hundred thousand dollar Grand Prix super rare 911. It's a base 911 badge and RS and uh, for sale as such, obviously, ordinary 911. But uh, she's not really ordinary at all. What's really cool about 964 is really low production numbers have kept the value stupid high, 63 or so thousand worldwide, period. Wow. Okay. The, the, it's really interesting because this is an 89, like we talked about, yep. and they were still making G bodies, which is the previous generation. So they're making the old and the new one at the same time. Uh, it was the first 911 to ever offer all wheel drive. It had Ooh. active aero in 1989, bro. That's, that's unbelievable. And 964 is that classic generation. It was in the Bad Boys, Will Smith, uh, Martin Lawrence, Bad Boys movie, the Bad Boys 911 Turbo, the RS models. It just had all these incredible variants. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's time for that, uh, that, that 991 you like, that S. Yeah, like right off the bat, I just love how aggressive this car looks. Like, look at that wide body in the front, translated right into the back. Um, she's got hips. 
She got hips for sure. You see, you see that roof right there, the all black roof. That was a moonroof. Remember that? It was all power function. Yeah. I oh, was, the wheels. Those wheels were gorgeous. And I love like the red, the red brake calipers too. Um, 20 inches, right? I think. Mm-hmm. And like the, the tires in the back are wider than the ones in the front. I forgot the exact size, but it just looks great. Yeah, um, it looks really planted. Very planted. And you look good next to it. I got to give it up, bro. The one thing I love, I love about this interior, I love the seatbelts because the seatbelts match the color of the car. Oh, yeah, and the stitching too. And the stitching, yeah. uh, very good, great attention to detail. That's what I love about this generation Porsche. And it's a very modern interior. I like you got that big digital screen in the front, but then you still have like, you still have all your five gauges in the front for the driver, and it just has that same layout familiarity. Exactly. Yeah. Look at those tires. Look how wide that is. I just I, I love how you can see like the, <sighs> you see like the the evolution from the nine six four to the nine nine one. Definitely. And that logo was very unique, too, because it was, like, embedded into the hood, not just... Right. It's not a sticker. In GT cars, there's sometimes a sticker is a save weight, they say. But, yeah, that was kind of uh, sunken into the hood, he says, an option. Yeah. Pretty cool option, a tick. Porsche. I love that font. <laughs> the classic Porsche font. And yeah, and then you got to check out the rear, too, with the engine. Um, not much to see, but there is something of interest here, which is, besides the fans... Uh, which is that Carrera 3.8. So that is the last of the naturally aspirated. Wow. Yeah, so what's really interesting about this, dude, is the 991 GT3 you were in basically has that 9,000 RPM redline 3.8 naturally aspirated, and uh, it's a crazy motor. But yeah, bro, the 991 is crazy. Like, first of all, remember what I said about the production numbers, the 964, 63,000? This has over about five times that amount, 233,540 worldwide, wow. right? The 991 is relevant. It's about seven inches longer in wheelbase. That freaked out the purists. Mm -hmm. um, much different car. It was unveiled in 2011 at the Frankfurt Motor Show. Um, as I said, it was l larger, but it was also lighter. It was in production between 2011 and 2019. But as you know, my friend, you rode in one 991 GT3. Uh, that uh, they had crazy variants in the 991 generations, the GT3, the GT3 RS, the 911R. Do you know about the 911R? I do not. The 911R was just a 911 that they wanted to sell. Uh, it had, a, I believe, a 4.0 or a 3.8 motor, wow. a GT3 motor, um, except it was in a coupe and it was sold to 918 supercar buyers, the hypercar, the 918. And because it was limited production, because it was an R, those people sold it and made hundreds of thousands of dollars on an ordinary car. Porsche got upset about it, and so they started making the 911T to sort of help fill the market with other comparable kind of 911s. Didn't really work, by the way. But the 991 GT2 makes 691 horsepower rear wheel drive. That's crazy. Bro, look at that wing. That wing. Ooh. One thing I... One, when I was at the shop, I noticed that the tail light in the wing, that is very, I never noticed that before. And I thought, I just think that's so cool. Oh, yeah, that third brake light? Yep. It's, it's just, I just think it looks great. I love that silver addition uh, to, the, to the perimeter of the, to the rim there. Mm -hmm. If I could learn English. Uh, that's, uh, I forget what that's called. But uh, that's, a, that's an option on those wheels. It has like that silver metallic ring around the edge of the rim. You can see right there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It has a little busy with the writing in the back. I think, I think personally, I would debadge this. I would take Porsche and 911 off of this if this was mine. Oh. And I would, it's not really a sleeper. It's a racing yellow car with a giant wing. Yep. Um, but yeah, I love this car. It represents a profound change for uh, Porsche for sure. It's a bigger car, longer, but lighter. Mm -hmm. As you know, you know, it also came with insane power. I mean, 700 horsepower in a rear wheel drive car is, uh, you know, that's frightening. Now, it's actually more than what the Corvettes were doing with the C7s. I mean, some of them from the factory were scary rear-wheel drive cars. Wow. And it's not my favorite 911, but I do love these headlights from straight on, where they are circular, where they resemble you know, the 964, and that heritage Ferrari in the background there. <laughs> Knock-off wheels. Scuderia shields, by the way. And I love the, look at the rear wheels. Look at the hips on that car. Yeah, it's just, I just love all the body lines on this car. It's beautiful. Yeah, the black and yellow, it's just a great two contrasting colors. It, it is, you know, I don't know that I would 
go and order this car with my, you know, hundred and whatever thousand dollars in the used market. Yeah. But I can't argue, man. Look at that thing. Ooh. It definitely catches your eye. I love how it squats too. You see the height up from the tire to the top of the car, how it's pretty narrow on the 964. It's a little narrower yet still. Yeah. But yeah, look at racing yellow, bro. One day we're going to buy one of these. That's the goal. Hard to decide. So what is it, bro? Classic or modern? Where are you at? I'm... <laughs> I don't know. It's impossible, well, isn't it? It's, it's a hard decision. Um, <laughs> but thanks to David for letting it, us yeah, figure thank this you. Shout out. Shout out, David. I appreciate checking out the cars. <laughs>